This is one story. I may not get to file in person, so I'll have to talk fast because it's after me. Hi. Uh, it's me again. Greetings, me again. You know, if my parents had named me that, I would have probably, I don't know, shot them, sued them, depending on if I lived in Texas or some other state. And I want to start a series of uh, videos. I don't know how many I'm going to make, but... 42 is the answer. I'm going to make a series of videos called How Stupid Can You Get? Um, the answer depends. Um, you're talking drunk or you're talking sober? The first thing that I want to talk about is that um, we were discussing the Big Bang Theory and uh, with uh, most of the people that I associate with on a one-to-one -one basis or whatever, or whatever you even call it. That's right, I do that too here at the ranch. You know, I sit around with my dozen or so uh, cosmophysicists and we talk about Big Bang cosmology. Well, actually, technically they're not cosmophysicists. They're actually chickens and, you know, I just talk to them about cosmology while I'm throwing corn at them. And they cluck back and I just assume that they understand what I'm saying and that they're offering their opinion on Big Bang cosmology. Um, sometimes they tell me, we're gonna get out of here! And sometimes they say, buck, 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 Brian, buck, buck, buck. And when I ask them, who the fuck is Brian? They don't answer. And I don't know why. Who the fuck is Brian? Believe that uh, the universe came from God, and uh, and is this God named Brian by any chance? You know, and they you talk about the Big Bang theory and everything. And uh, speaking of the Big Bang theory, that television show, The Big Bang Theory, or whatever the name of it is, I think it's called The Big Bang Theory, is. Uh, funny show and uh, I think the girl in it is pretty hot so you know but um you know the last time that I found a girl pretty hot it cost me three years in prison and they put me on a state list um still trying to get my name off of that list these days I find you know people like Margaret Thatcher pretty hot a whole lot less trouble it it's, can be funny to watch sometimes. Um, I've been reading some books. Um, I started reading uh, a book on uh, systematic theology. Um, and it has a lot of philosophy in it. And it has a lot of uh, stuff from uh, people that um, don't believe in God. You know, scientists and stuff. And Now shut up! Go look for Brian! Theorizing uh, all these different things about creation and the existence of God or the non-existence of God. It talks about... Um, you know that the world's philosophers went on strike about 500 years ago and nobody still noticed? It's true. Philosophy bakes no bread. In the scheme of things, philosophy doesn't actually do anything. You can't use philosophy to answer questions such as, do the gods exist? Do the gods not exist? If they do or they don't, does it matter that they do or they don't? And if it does, to whom? Philosophers can't answer that. Philosophy doesn't answer that. What good is it? And if I have failed to not insult every single philosopher out there. Well, I'm sorry, I tried. The belief that uh, something uh, has to come from something or nothing can come from uh, 
nothing can come from nothing or something. So anyways, um, whether or not nothing can come from nothing, something can come from nothing. <coughs> um, that's a, We're talking about theories here, okay? Can, not, can something come from nothing? One of my favorite obnoxious heroes from the distant past was Bombastus Paracelsus. People would invite him to parties, and he would have a drink or two, or maybe 20, and then he would stand on a chair, and he would bellow out <clears throat> bombastically witticisms that he either came up with or that he'd plagiarized. And one of the witticisms that he was very fond of saying was, the prudent question is one half of wisdom. By prudent, of course, he meant the well-thought-out well thought question. Of course, he was very seldom invited by the same person to a party twice, but his point is, and was, and still is, very germane to the issue of Big Bang cosmology. The question is, the valid question is not, can something come from nothing? The prudent question is, was there ever nothing? Some scientists think that it is impossible for there to be nothing. And if I understand the literature correctly, it looks like the majority of scientists out there think that there is impossible, it was and is impossible for nothing to exist. That is, it is impossible for there to be nothing. Big Bang Cosmology does not say something came from nothing. Big Bang Cosmology says something came from we have no idea what. Vacuum fluctuation in quantum uh, foam space-time. But what exactly is that? Don't know. Working on it. If people want to say that the something that the universe came from was a god or the gods, the question then arises, where did those gods come from? Did they come from nothing? Did they come from something? If they came from something, where did that something come from? As Carl Sagan pointed out many times. Which means, of course, I know the answer, but before I can share it with anybody, I need a drink. Lazarus, come forth. It's only six gallons, I hope it's enough. <laughs> How am I going to do this with only two hands? Start siphoning. Well, that didn't work. Pray harder. Please, by the gods Dionysus and Baki, Bacchus, pour me a glass. Didn't work. Okay, so I cheated. I actually siphoned it with my lungs. Okay. Now I am fortified. Ah. Who turned out the lights?